The new color. Oh, the broadcast bar is on top of my overlay. Hang on. There we go. I moved them to the opposite corners. I don't like this color change. Oh, yeah, I remember. I was in a frickin' pickle last time. Alright, let me open up my Twitch. Go to my channel. Live. Where's my chat room? Okay. Yeah? Yeah? That is what we call a big brain moment. One time I was trapped in a, um, one by one obsidian, um, so, uh, cobblestone actually. It was a one by one cobblestone box with just lava, and I was in swim mode. Um, how I got in this pickle? I was kind of trying to use water to get to coal ore that was under lava. Um, and I managed to get stuck in a one by one cobblestone box. This is in the realm, by the way, but this was like a long time ago. So this is like right after I think I got the netherite. No, not right, but it was like right after I got it. So like January, February. And, um, managed to get myself freaking caught in a. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of shulkers. I managed to get myself caught. In that one by one box of lava and so what i did as a big brain moment was i had already used my water bucket because as i mentioned i used water to get into that situation in the first place so because i'm in a one by one box of lava it took me a second to realize this but i realized it because i couldn't go anywhere and i was like oh i'm in a one by one box so i used my empty bucket and soaked up the lava and that was a big brain moment okay. oh my god Gosh, I don't know how I'm getting out of this alive. If I die, I respawn the overworld and the run is over, so this may be the last episode. I knew doing an end survival was a bad idea from the start. And I found an end city, thinking I'd get loot, but I have no idea how I'm gonna get food. Or health, for that matter. Do I have any end stone? I have a way of getting food. I can't because I'm really high up. And if I try going down, shulkers attack me. So what I have to do is start a farm. Yeah, chorus fruit will never spawn you um, in the void. I know that for a fact. I usually still use it as a last resort. Because it's still not the most safe thing you can use. But it won't just kill you like that. In the overworld it will. It'll definitely teleport you in lava or something. But in the end, it won't just kill you. Uh, but it's still probably not very suggested that you do use it. How's Raptor online? It's six o'clock on a m Monday. Whatever. So, basically, because I have no food, I have to start a farm about like a hundred blocks in the air on top of an in city, and I'm starting a beetroot farm. This is gonna be a long waiting process for the beetroots to grow. In fact, this entire episode may be just me waiting. For beetroots to grow. Because I 
my original plan was to kill Enderman, but there's not enough flat land. So my new plan is to just grow food so that I can heal and then get to, get the frick out of here. And y'all want to know how I got up here? Going up. <laughs> Shulker. Shulkers. Frickin' Shulkers. I'm tired of those stupid pink vermits. And go die in a pit. I used to... I used to be obsessed with, like, anything end, and now I'm not obsessed with anything end. Now I hate anything end, really. But my favorite skin used to be an Enderman in a suit, um, and stuff, and I love purple. I still like purple, but, like, yeah, I liked purple, and so I started liking Enderman and stuff. But now, I don't really like the end that much. Um, I feel like anything associated with, like, teleportation in general would be, um, why it would do that, because it's a teleporter. Um, because obviously the end and the nether are linked, seeing as how end rods use blaze powder, and the end portal requires blaze powder to activate. So, the nether and the end are linked. They are linked in a way. So, we don't really know how, but they are linked. And you also gotta think that just anything associated with teleportation in this game makes the same sound effect, has the same particles, usually. The end, I would assume, wouldn't be in space. I'd assume it'd be, like, the in-between. Because if it's the in-between... Is my render distance all the way up? Should be. I'm on an Xbox Series S, so if this thing can't handle max render distance... My render distance is only 14. Set it up to 18. What is Minecraft giving us ray tracing? I'm on the frickin' new Xbox. I deserve ray tracing. Fortnite gave it to us. It's your turn, Minecraft. Gave it to those stupid PC players who spend way too much money on something when they can just do most of that stuff on Safari that they want to do. I'm always gonna stick to console. I'm never switching. Like, uh, call me stubborn if you will, but I don't see a reason to switch. Oh, I can get a, uh, diamond sword. Or should I get a diamond pi- I should probably get a diamond pickaxe. And I have two crafting tables now, because I didn't realize I already had one. I'm gonna make a diamond pickaxe. I have 13 emeralds. They're useless in the end. And this is an end survival, so they're useless. But I have 13 emeralds. I'm gonna just make some emerald blocks or something. I was gonna say beacon, but I realized that... How would I do that? When I'm stuck in the end forever. I'm not allowed to leave it. What I did to set up this survival thing... I tried setting my spawn in the end. Didn't work. It just said, you're not allowed to set the world spawn or your spawn point in this dimension. Um, what I had to do to set it up, though, was obviously go to the end, and then I slash killed the dragon to make sure I can't escape. And there's no way I'm going to get a hold of end crystals, either. It's impossible to get a hold of end crystals, because you need gas tears. Um, and then I, uh, so I destroyed the main, the, I killed the dragon, I destroyed all the portal blocks that were in the middle. I didn't destroy the teleporters, so I can go back to the middle if I ever want. Just the middle doesn't really have anything to offer except for a dragon egg and just unused end crystals. They're just there, vacant. But I had to kill the dragon and take out the portal for the sake of, like, me not being able to escape unless I die. And in that case, the deal runs over because once I touch the overworld, it's done. <gasps> yes! 
Get over here. Oh, he teleported away. No. This is going to be 20 minutes of beetroot simulator. Beetroot farming simulator. But in the middle of frickin' nowhere. Okay, I gotta be very careful with this one. I attacked an indie man. I don't think it knows how to get to me. Oh. What, what were you gonna ask me to do, Bradley? Actually, I can. I have 13 iron ingots, and I have 12 spruce saplings, and I have some dirt. So, I can get leaves. Yeah, I can make an enderman um, farming thing in this survival run, if I ever want to. I wouldn't be able to- I'd be able to get the elytra, and even- I think I'd even be able to put mending on it. You know, I'm breaking. But I don't think I'd be able to use rockets. Yeah, rockets. Are can you get rockets can you get gunpowder and paper from end in chests? In city chests? Paper and gunpowder? Or just rockets, I guess. I don't think paper. And um I basically, what I did to start myself off was I just had a bonus chest and put it in the end. And then I gave myself a stack of dirt to grow the stuff in the bonus chest. And I made sure that if the bonus chest didn't give me any um, saplings, I put it in, some in there. But it did give me saplings. It gave me a spruce sapling. Or it gave me four spruce saplings. So I reproduced the those. It also gave me a cactus, but no sand. So uh, I just have one singular cactus that is useless. You know it's funny? I have a chorus flower on me, but I don't have any end stone. And I'm still stuck up here until I get food somehow. Of course you are. <gasps> of course you're stuck up here. Man, I do not like being stuck 121 blocks in the air and being like 250 blocks away from my spawning point. Let's see. Where is my spawn at? I think it's this way. Oh shoot, I can't remember. Wait, I have a map. Oh yeah, it is this way. I don't see the bridge. Oh, I see the bridge now. It's way out there. It's over there. Funny. It's funny pog, funny, funny pog, pog funny. You stupid freaking useless food items that I wouldn't use on any occasion but now because it's you're the only seeds that the bonus chest gave me grow bonus chest made me rely on freaking I think potatoes and beetroots and I didn't bring any potatoes with me I just brought beetroot seeds somehow <laughs> I don't know I can't smelt the potatoes either there's no way I'm gonna be able to I'm in the end. Yeah, I guess. No, I wouldn't think you'd be able to get stone from them. In city chests are like high tier loot. So they're not like random crap. They're like diamonds and gold and stuff. Oh. Aren't you lucky? But yeah, usually though... 
they'll give you, they won't give you stone, though. They'll give you, like, diamonds and gold and stuff. And while diamonds and gold seems cool, it's pretty useless when you start in the end. Because you have nothing to use them on. I mean, I guess I can make armor and stuff. Found a lot of cool armor in the chest, so... What's better, a di diamond leggings with protection 3, or iron leggings with projectile protection 4 and mending? First one? Alright. I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep the projectile protection on, though, until I'm out of here, because I realized why I chose those. I'm in an in-city. And guess what the mon- guess what the main attack of the- the monster, uh, in the in-city uses- it uses projectiles. They don't, but they hurt less when I have projectile protection. Also, I have boots with Curse of Vanishing, which doesn't even matter, because if I die, the run ends. So... Anything with Curse of Vanishing doesn't even matter. Because this entire series has Curse of Vanishing. My main sword that I found in a, in a chest has Unbreaking 3 and Curse of Vanishing on it. I made a diamond pickaxe with three diamonds I found. I also have 13 iron... I have 13 iron ingots and saplings, so yeah, I can make leaves, Bradley. Um, spruce leaves. Why? Well, I... Freaking grow, you stupid beetroot things. Beetroot, if you don't grow, I'm gonna beetroot you up. Um, those aren't grow grown yet. Well, y'all, this is just going to be another three more minutes, and then I'm done with, uh, whatever this is, I guess. Well, after this stream, I have to update Fight Arena and, uh, make a trailer, so that's pretty poggers, I think, I guess. I wouldn't know, man. I'm just playing farming simulator pretty much. Except in the middle of void. After this I have to update Fight Arena. Cause it's the tenth. The first, tenth, and twentieth of every month is um update day for Fight Arena. Oh yeah, what's funny is that season two Chapter 2 Season 2 came out on the 20th. And I also do one year celebration for um, seasons. So right the day Season 2 released, I added a Season 8 Rift Zone celebration for it being a year old. And I added an entire update and stuff. And a bunch of my friends were like, Did you add this because Season 2 released today? Nope. Just happened to be on the 20th of a month. The only month where I don't do it on the 10th is April, because my birthday is on the 9th. So I do the 10th update, I move it a day back for my birthday. So I can do a whole, like, birthday event thing, starting on my birthday, of course, since it's only a day before the 10th. Felt like I could just make an exception with that one. And yeah, I think that's a pretty good way of doing it. Um, and next month I have to do a Rift Zone for, uh, frickin' Season 3. What? Go to the inn! There's tons there! Well, nobody said anything in chat, so that's poggers, I guess. I do not really like Twitch really much, but Mixer got shut down as the only other thing that lets you stream an egg bug. 